so first of all, I just want to start by saying thank you, God. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I've listen. I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm not a genius. I know I'm not a prophet. But man, I'm just so thankful. And I'm saying that in in the circumstances that it's tough because I'm, I'm I know bad things, horrible things are happening and will be happening to me. But these people involved in this program that does these horrible things that you see in front of us, in front of me, are living life every day to counter the reality. It's been crazy to see grown men and women <laughs> blocking our reality in means that are so surreal. You can't even understand. It's like, Jesus, am I that much smarter than you? And the truth is, no, I'm not that much smarter than you. What's happening is people tend to try to cope with the reality of what they're involved in. I understand why would everyday people would love to be involved in this program. It gives them the opportunity to feel like God's. I mean, the technology can do so much things to us. For example, my body is breaking down physically. But psychologically, what they can do to us is just surreal. Surreal. So you have an everyday citizen partic- participating in things that uh, you consider atrocities. But the way they've been rewiring reality is comical. It's a mixture of laughable comicalness t- with horror. Let me just start with the first things. First of all, I'm in this program where it's obvious women are being tortured. And they're not only just being tortured, they're being sexually tortured. You're going to hear the sexual torture of this woman where burns aimed toward the genitals are being applied. And some of these women talk about, oh, I mean, this is happening to me. Sometimes it's so painful that I'm going to like shock. You see, you see these pictures. This is actually, and this is common. This is not like once in a blue moon. I mean, I'm, I've been making the sexual torture as, as, as something happening to women in this program commonly. You're going to hear this man say that. I'm not a genius in the sense that, oh, I figure I said that even before this man said that because when you're going to hear testimonies of women in this program, you're going to hear the torture that is applied to them. And it's a lot of sexual torture. <laughs> so I'm involved in the program. I'm putting the program where women are being tortured in ways that you can't even understand. And you have these people try to create this fantasy. One thing they've been trying to create is paint me in this false persona. You see this 19th this ranking that you see there is disgusting, right? That in 2018, the Department of Defense was ranked for being the most, one of the most network, and we we'll comp- talk about computer network as is mentioned here, computer networks for trafficking, sharing, and accessing the most child porn in the United States. 19th out of 2,900. The real number is 2,891, right? They, ra- they rounded there in, at 3,000. This is coming from CNN. And they called it out there that it's been consistently ranked in the top tier for trafficking child porn. I hope you, got, you were able to capture the noise campaign of this bottom tier. <laughs> Those are who is trying to block reality. And it's so sad because they are hyping these people doing this noise campaign. And my coworkers, oh my gosh, they will never have their children do that, but they are hyping these kids. <laughs> and I'm like, you, you know what? You should see that as a negative way. Why well, aren't they using their kids to do what these people do? They will never. But they are thankful that these people are doing it. And these kids don't see it as, oh my gosh, they are using us in this fashion to do this because neg- they want to enjoy it. But these co-workers of mine involved in this program are watching these kids like, oh yeah, our kids, you don't know, trash us. These people work for governmental entities that have problem pedophilia, big time. Big, a consistent trend that you see here. Consistency. That the Department of Defense computers are being utilized to just no child porn and traffic done child porn that the whole bill called and this is a real bill that you see here and national defense network abuse act this is a a bill specifically created after this ranking came up and what this bill is supposed to do it's supposed to help police the amount of child porn being trafficked using the dod network and dod computers because it's such an issue tell me if this is not crazy but it doesn't end there these people are trying to counter that now, this program I'm putting is obviously ran by these governmental entities. The DOT has been working on technology to rewire the brain for a long time. They use human subjects. And in my brain, they, what they do, try to do is blocking this painted reality. 
They, they want me to look at myself negatively. I'm like, do you think that I'll ever... You see these things. These people torture men, women, and children in this fashion. You have clowns, children. So they, they, they like to use childlike-minded people. They truly do. And you have these grown professionals being so thankful. Oh, thank you. You know what they're saying? They tell me that they're going to have these teenage kids here saying that I raped them. They're going to frame me in this fashion. And the perps here are going to make it seem like I did something to some children here. My coworkers, who are obviously not using their children. Oh, my gosh. Their children are far from these things in that sense. <laughs> are thanking them. Oh, thank you guys for sending your kids and doing these nasty things. They know this this repercussion for these things. They know it comes one way or another. No child comes back normally be involved in something where they have to frame people in this fashion. I'm not a genius by saying that, but please understand, saying that right now makes me so, sound so wise. But listen to how nasty it is. Okay. This ranking, 19th out of 2,900, is something they try to block out. As a target individual, what you realize is people do everything possible around you to counter reality. Now, if you know that whatever entity you're contracted by has this issue, <laughs> you kind of see things for what it is. This is this is not me writing this paper. This is on CNN. You look this if you want to look it up. Look up this article. CNN literally say child protective services have been saying that they've been ranking the DOD consistently in the top tier of child porn trafficking. Now this is deadly in the sense of the facade they wanted to create. How can you say, you are here saying because what's happening to me? Is they manipulate my brain using DOD technology. They manipulate my body and we're just test subjects for the DOD and they're using us as just test subjects. You're going to hear that. And like, no, but we're protecting our children. You are a pedophile. Because the manipulation are pedophilia centric. I'm like, this is so awkward. It is magically awkward. It's not even, it's just not irregular. It's like ranked awkwardly. It's top tier level rank, uh, awkward. It's consistently Top tier, awkward. I'm saying those words because that's what you see here. That the DOD was ranked 19th out of 2900. And this is not the first time they ranked this high. This is a consistent rank. Now, I don't know for some reason, these perps wanted me to look at them in this fashion. That is so comical at this point. It is laughable. It is laughable. Because this is just so bad. That at this level, in every level, you're going to hear how they have been validated that these people have these tactics that's disgusting. Not only these entities running this program have these issues, these tactics utilize these disgusting uh, issues and the way they even torment people. Some of them, inclusive of children, are tortured sexually. How much more can one have to be validated? Oh, more validation. A lot of these perps around me, they're like children. They basically chill. They, 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 it, it, sound, it sounds like you talk to a child when they, when they interact with you. Which makes sense. Because it's hard to sound like what they want to project themselves when you do what you do and what you're involved in what you do. Okay, let me just start how they try to counter reality. Now, do you see this 19th ranking? They've been trying to make this, this, this ranking. So every time I hear 19th, they want me to think of anything else but the fact that they were ranked, the DOD was ranked 19th out of 2900. They, they're doing everything possible to block that out. So I'm listening to it because, you know, what one thing they, they, they use is whatever is around you to make you think in different ways. I'm listening to this and you're going to hear that portion. I'm listening to this. So they've been doing a lot of memory manipulation and the memory manipulation is something that's been, you know, worked on for, for a long time. And it's even the mainstream. You're going to hear that memory manipulation, a lot of uh, medical schools and even the DOD, the DARPA has been working on memories and, and officially saying that. Like it's on the mainstream. Like literally they can create artificial memories. And so I'm, I'm, I'm putting up this, this journal about the ethics of memory manipulation and what we should look over. And at one point, they, pull, they give a list of things. And the 19th list is, oh, this memory manipulation can be helpful for any children that have been through some abuse of some sort where they have PTSD and that will help them. <laughs> okay. This is the awkward, magical manipulation that they want me to have. No, not even manipulation. The counter, 
19th is that on the list and they're like oh 19th one thing i've been bringing up a lot is how these people try to vilify you for me one of the vilify the way they vilify me and try to make me accept this current manipulation is make me think of me as a child what i did as a child and every time i bring that they're like hey you know, because they try to box in that. But you don't understand who is telling you to pay. Do you see what these women are saying? One person here, you say, me and my young child are being used as a test subject and we're damaged physically and psychologically. They torture children and traumatize them in so many horrible ways. What they try to bring up of what I did as, as a child it's something dumb that I did as a child that never did not traumatize anybody. It was inappropriate, but it never traumatized anybody. The fact is, matter of fact, just to put that in their face, I, I started talking to this person that I haven't talked for years. She has no idea who, she, who I am. No clue. She's living life her best life, which I expected. But I purposely sent a message just because I was like, I know who's traumatizing and destroying the life of kids. I know. You're involved in that program. This child, her and her young, not only this, 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 the child, but the, that woman, they are for sure for life PTSD will be traumatized. And so they want me to think, of, oh, no, because you traumatized. I didn't traumatize anybody. Matter of fact, you are involved in a program that traumatized this baby by the torture that you're going to hear. And you're doing that. So you're saying you try to block the fact that the DOD was ranked as the 19th out of 2,900 for trafficking the most child porn, ranking them as a top tier network, computer network for trafficking child porn you understand trafficking child porn what does child porn to do like what do you think the, the impact of child porn you're trying to block the ranking that's 19th out of 2,900 2, which consists of a child porn ranking meaning that they've been trafficking so much so much trial, child porn and because you know that there's no way to detach yourself from the fact that this program is run by this government entity That at this point, you're just trying to deflect from the fact that the DOD, which is the entity is running this program, traffics so much child porn that the child protective services that oversees child porn, that's like the watchdog for child porn, literally say, hey, the DOD network, they have a problem there, a big problem. And it's been consistent. Which you understand what it means about them caring about children. Now, their job here, perps, uh, their job is to try to create a false reality. They call it a reality. And I guess this is a reality they want to escape from. Which I understand. You have to, you want to get away from reality because you want to enjoy what you're part of. Nope. Not with me. You're the one, not only traumatizing children, destroying their life. This woman's family, her, her and, and her young child will never be the same. Forever. Hopefully... They can at some point get some freedom, especially the child. But growing up in this level of, t of torture and torment is, is going to be traumatizing. It's going to be traumatizing. She, she's, this kid, he, she or he, whatever, the young child, whatever gender it is, they're not going to grow to be normal. It's going to be a traumatizing life. Because I guarantee you some of the torture can consist also of sexual torture. And they were like, no, hey, you see, me as a kid doing some dumb thing to myself, like, no, that was traumatizing. No, that was not. That, that was easy. It was inappropriate, but it was not traumatizing. It's something I did to myself. I, myself, as an as a, as a older kid, forget about it. But I know the brain of a child is a fucking child brain. You guys are involved in a program. Some of these people have children themselves. And they're involved in torturing children. Or involved in a program that does that to children. And block that out and try to counter that. How can you even do that? And then, you know, to block this in, so pay for what you deserve. What? This woman talks about her genitals being burnt to the point where she goes into shock. Now, I don't know if the children, when they get this sexual torture, are being burned in this fashion or to that level. But either way, even if it's a percentage of what this woman said is applied to children, you understand what is trash are? Listen, I understand what this is about. Life is going to be destructive. I understand what this really means. You know, I know these people just dumb themselves, them, themselves, dumb themselves down to, to, for convenience purpose. They know what they're part of. They know children are being tortured. They're traumatizing children. Hopefully, these kids get out of it. It's so sad. And hopefully, they can find help to make them feel okay. But regardless, there will be some, some, some lifetime damage, as this woman said. 
and you try to cut to the fact that these entities that are running this program, obviously, for years they've been working on this program. They've been, you know, the DOD is obviously the, the entity that have the only, the, the only entity that has the capability to create this program with this sophistication, these resources, this ability to contract these losers around me. From the richest to the poorest, they can all partake. And this level of sophistication cannot come from some random... But unfortunately, that means you're tied up with some kind of entity that has some very powerful, the most powerful entity that happened to have some of the most disturbing issues with children. And so the reality they've put together for themselves is so pathetic. And so they try to come to the 19th, the number 19th. They try that in other, other ways. Another way they try to come to that. Listen, I'm not perfect. The thing with the, ch the children is what they try to create. This is their nastiness, this, their imperfection. I'm not perfect and I will never stand there and present myself as a perfect guy. I will never. I don't even like people who try to present themselves like that. And so I've, I've been with this woman, young woman. I was a young man. I was in my mid-20s or so. And this woman, which according to what I saw and what she said, was 19 years old. You know how they tried to block that? It's like, oh, she's lying. She wasn't 19. She's lying. She lied. I was like, oh, how convenient. Of course, these people have no shame. Yeah, of course, she lied. Oh, yes, yes, yes. How convenient it is. For you, who want to delude yourself that you're not in a program where they torture children sexually, where the entities running this program aren't being ranked 19th out of 2,900 for trafficking child porn, Conveniently came with this story that she was, she was lying. She was pretending to be 19. She wasn't. She was underage. <laughs> and every time that they come up with this story, it's like, die. <laughs> He's like, shut up. You wish that was true. Because what's happening is like there's neighbors around here. They're kids. They're selling their kids to say that I uh, did something to them. Yeah, go sell your kids. Watch the, the, the TBD. I can reassure you that no child of any age can create this nastiness be involved in this nasty and consisting of framing people and grow up to be normal. I guarantee you something's going to come to them. I'm not this magical being. I think it's just common sense. And what's the common sense? That anybody, any kid that's out here saying, oh, this person raped me, perhaps is not going to grow up to be normal. And it's not daring at all. If anything, it shows the cowardness. They grow, they, they're grooming this trash to be cowards. But you know how they have hyped themselves up? Oh, we dared. I was like, oh my gosh, yo, your parents failed you. They failed you. They failed you. Look at your parents and, and, and be mad at your parents today because watch my prophecy. That's, or you, you, your own parents will guide you to, do, to, to that route? <laughs> and now you are here blocking the, the ranking of this, the, this issue of pedophilia. That's your life right now. These people are so compromised that I see grown people just try to get mad. Then they bring up, oh, but remember what you did at the nightclub where I went to this nightclub, which you, you're going to hear, this, this Medusa quote unquote nightclub. I was going there when I was like 18 to 22. Listen, I, when I was there, <laughs> I did some dumb things, like, you know, and they're like, oh, but you see there, you touch. It's like, you burn the genitals of children. Sorry, of women. At least the children, I don't know if it's burned, but you, you, you harm their genitals. Then you try to talk about me at 18, 22 at the nightclub and be like, no, but who was this person? Like, He's just trying to come up with your stories. Yeah, here, sexually torturing children, women and children. You're going to hear this. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to make sure that this nightclub that I went there when I was 18 to 22, you're going to hear the, the, the type of environment of the club I we're talking about after you hear the testimonies of this woman. And they're like, oh, a teenager. What? I was a teenager going there. I was from my late teens to my early 20s. Like most people over there. And today, my mid to, to late 30s, you know, it's so disgusting. This is how bad it gets. This woman here, Megan. Um, thank you, Megan, for your testimonials. I know you're not unique in that. Please know that you're not the only woman being tortured this way. But I thank you for speaking up. Because as target individual, they create stories. Where they paint, the, the perps paint themselves as something else by what they're re really part of. What I mean is, you could be surrounded by a bunch of women, try to vilify you while being involved in a program that will torture women the way Megan is being tortured. Her testimonial here 
I discovered not too long ago, but it was it was on February 17, 2020, last year, about last year and a few months ago. You know how they try to block this out? They, it, today, because they manipulate me to have this, this reaction stimulation. Every time there's somebody who's a kid who looks like a kid, they force me to get stimulation. Not too long ago, I, I think last year at some point, I remember looking, I was in the, waiting for the elevator. And then the, every time I look at some young person, they try to make me guess the age. Now, at the time, they didn't give me stimulation on that person. But I was like, I, I can't tell this person. I was like looking at her. I was like, is she like an adult or she's like a young adult? Or she's like a, a, a late teen who's about to be a young adult? And it's like somebody who like in, either I would give her like early 20s. Now, I could be completely wrong. But these people at this point gets to like, oh, you guessed the wrong age. Like what? Like at this point, I, they, they use whatever they can use to paint me as this fashion. These people who came and speak about a pedophile that picked up kids as young as 14 years old. I have creating their stories like, no, she was 17. It's like, oh, most likely not even true, but I don't even know. I don't know her age. I don't, I, I'm not here to guess people's age. But, and now they even put stimulation into that memory. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's just, See, they, 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 this whole game's about people trying to guess people's age. You know that, right? There's literally people like this TV shows about, hey, guess what? How old is this person? Oh, you're wrong. This wrong age. And your dumbass are now I hear trying to be, now you guessed the wrong age. What time? And now they add stimulations. Like, no, but you got the stimulation. This is added stimulation. Now, don't get it wrong. They do put false, they do put stimulation was, um, most of the time i think at that point it was just like they wanted me to be stressed about guessing the age but because this testimony of this woman who talks about her her genitals being burned to the point where she's going to shock and this woman made this testimonial on the 17th of february They're like oh 17 17 oh you see that girl from the elevator how old is she i don't know what the hell no, she's 17. I'm like, what? See, you, what? Good for her. No, I think it's not even true, but I don't know. How do I know? Now, to, to, to create some things, they put stimulations. Like, I'm not going to guess. Listen, you know what, what guess I'll give her? I'll give her from late teen, so 17 to like 23. I lean toward more like 20 years old. Now, I don't know. At the time, thank you, God, they didn't give me the stimulation. So today, they're adding the stimulation. So whatever. And they try to counter the reality. It's like, you're just trying to block the fact that this woman here on the 17th of February woke up saying, my genitals were burned last night and I'm thinking they're going to burn it again today. And I've been going to shock because when they burn my genitals, it's so painful that I lose, I, 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 I go into shock. Just like they try to block out the 19th ranking. They try to block out the testimony of this woman. It consistently, they consistently live life where counter reality and create their reality, which is falsified. But you know reality is going to come. No matter what's going to happen to me, what's going to happen to them is going to happen. But to see these grown-ass men and women living life to block this. And every time they were bringing this narrative in my brain, somebody said, oh, pay, pay, die, die, die. I'm like, yo. You just try to stop me from thinking about this woman whose genitals was burned on that date. I would rather burn with her than live a life where I'm countering the, the testimony of this poor woman talking about her genitals being shocked. To the, not shocked, burned, and her body is in shock because of the burn. That's your life right now. That's your daring life. You are living life right now to stop me from thinking about this woman saying, this is what's happening to my genitals. Cowardness and low lifeness in one. But you, via V2K, oh my gosh, you, you think these people are some brave souls. Brave souls. Oh, you, you, you be fisted. I was like, I'd rather get fisted, I'd rather be tor tortured, I'd rather get strangled, I'd rather be zapped to death. But try to stop somebody to think about what this person says because I'm involved in the same program that does these things to this woman. And I still want you to see me as this femme fatale protecting women. Matter of fact, think about what you did at that club. That means it's a club. I remember you said, you burn women's genitals. You, you create atrocities. You're going to hear it. Me being sh feasted doesn't change that you're involved in a program that caused these horrible things. Causing women to lose. Going to shock because they get burned in the genitals. They could burn you everywhere else. They have this tendency of doing degrading things to you. They could have burned her in her leg. No, they'd like to target the genitals. So not only they want to cause pain, but they want to cause degrading pain. 
that's what you're involved in. I'd rather get feasted in by every man in the world, by everybody, than be involved where I'm connected to anything that does this horrible, degrading, painful things to women, and then play a feminist. And being trying to vilify you now by the nightclub. You're going to hear. You, you, you grab this. What? In this program, you are torturing women's genitals and children. Never. I would rather get castrated. I will, I will, you know, it gets to the point where I would do things to myself just to pr- pr- create a, make a point. Never. They're like, no, you go, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stick a wood in your butt. So I was like, do that and go burn this woman's genitals. You nasty low life. You thought you're gonna live that life like that? I'm so thankful I got to see everything before all this torture. And matter of fact, I think me bringing that up every day is something that they want me to pay for. It provokes them that, how dare you bring up how we torture women and children? No. My torture is not going to change what's going to happen to you. Because what you, what's going to happen to you? Don't trust me. It's going to be connected with what you're involved in. You're a coward of life that involves yourself in torturing even babies. You're going to hear that. And I'm here to let you know that this is why. So when, I'm being, when I scream, when I cry, I trust, trust me. I will, not be, I will never be asking God let me switch places with this person who's involved in a program that torture children or burn genitals and then play femme fatale and then try to cut to the fact that the entities that empowered her to be God is ranked 19th out of 2,900 and so they try to counter that but say no, nah, 19 traumatized her to block out the 19th ranking and also while being involved in a program that traumatized children by torturing them in these horrible ways which Damage them psychologically and physically. No. Whatever is going to happen to me, God, give me strength. I will need your strength. I will need your strength. I will never think of myself as a perfect person, but I'm so thank God. I'm so thankful to God that I've never been involved in anything that can be so destructive and horrible and cause atrocities. And use the intellect of these children to, to, to agitate people. And then minimize my intellect to try to cope with the reality. They are out here telling them, no, we are war. No, you are war with reality. That's why you are here blocking the 19th ranking. That's why you are war with the torture of children and the, the torture of these women. Talk about me at a, a nightclub to block out the burn of these women's genitals. And the discharges of this woman, the execution of this woman, genitals, the suffocation of this seven-year-old child, the blinding of this nine-year-old child, the mass shooting of this, this that happened over there, the mass shooting that happened, what? Come on, there's too much in life. Oh, there's so many, they, they, I swear, they are the case study of whatever comes back to you. It's going to be crazy. And it's, gonna be, it's not going to come from us, target individual. Do not bury your hands. Let them be handled the way they handle. They will see the... the, the to be determined aspect of things going to come in a way that it's going to be magical. Their cowardness will be reimbursed in plentiful. Now, in the meantime, hmm, this is provoking to bring that up to them. I expect the worst for the simple fact that I brought a mirror that they want to try to escape from. Oh, every time they're like, oh, but is it every, look, look how the, the tactic is. They try to bring, oh, at the club, oh, oh pay, pay, pay. It's like, what? You zap genitals of women. Okay, pay. A women. You're like frying. Or traumatized. Oh, remember what she does as a kid. What? This young child and her mother are being tortured. That caused this a damage that's physical and psychological this child is only four years old and they have down syndrome and they're being sexually tortured because there's not only the four-year-old but the five-year-old sister who also have down syndrome being sexually tortured which they try to counter a three-year-old boy grab his testicles or his genitals and look at this teacher is like ow i'm hurt this whole family of five kids the whole family get the whole treatment 
Yo. And then when we talk about women, yo, you're going to hear this means, oh, by the way, rape is such a common tactic of breaking down women, of everybody actually, that it's extremely common to hear targeted individuals, especially women, complaining about this. It's so fake. Now, in my little actually reality here, they put together, they try to plug this out. They try to vilify me. Oh, no, you rape. Oh, really? You are involved in this? No. You know, I, I brought up the whole thing about Corny and Brittany. I was like, no, 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 no. You heard this testimony. You see this woman's face? What does he look like? Look. That's what they look like, the target individual. I'm go- you think I'm going to let these children try to counter reality? That's the face of despair. I don't even know how this pe- these people are strong enough to stay. This woman is true. Megan, you... If you're watching this, you're a strong woman because I don't know how you can go through all that and please stay strong. Because I don't know how who can survive this and not want to do something. You are strong and please continue stay as strong as strong as you are. But please understand that these people, a target individual, some of the people involved in the same program that torture you this ways are trying to paint themselves as protecting the adventures of women. And for me, I'm so thankful when I see the testimony of women, which is a lot of it, a lot, a lot, saying this is what's happening to me because I knew that already. And of course, people who can be manipulative in these disgusting ways, you know they don't protect children or women. Matter of fact, they wish you were this person that they create, so it makes it easier for them to act accordingly. But no, not with me. You're the one causing a trusting, torturing, and tormenting women. Rape is commonly used. There'll be a bunch of women coming up begging for help and support. I cannot let them live their fantasy. Let's just start with the beginning. So, you see this ranking? This is what they try to counter. I'm going to start off with this ranking of this 90, of, of the Child Protective Service. Uh, 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 the Child Protective Services. Ranking the DOD as the 19th out of 2,891. They ran rounded to 3,000. For what? The most child porn trafficked in regard to networks in the United States. It's crazy. How they try to block it out? Listen to this story, this thing uh, talking about the memory manipulation. In 2016, there was a whole journal about how we should prep for memory manipulation. It is going to be the new, yesterday's fiction needs tomorrow future it was to or, or today's uh, reality or something or future of, of reality of to, tomorrow or something like that and that was in 2016 we're in 2024 they were talking about getting ready that this technology already creating uh, or uh, able to manipulate memories that we know that memories is something that can be manipulated and there's they give the benefits of it and the negative the 19th that you're going to hear is the 19 about the, the children or anybody, but specifically here in the children, that, that, that have PTSD because of abuse or whatever, and how memory manipulation can help be helpful for them. You know what they try to do? Oh, you traumatized. No, I didn't. But now you're going to hear who they traumatized, what children they tra- traumatized, and how they traumatized them. Matter of fact, I purposely made sure to embarrass them to del- stop them from the delusion they've created, to talk to this person that they thought that what they were saying that I traumatized. No, she doesn't even know who I am. She's living her best life. Life, good. Life is not, no clue of who I am or whatever. I send and say, hey, what's up? How you doing? Nothing. But reality. Listen to how they traumatize these children. We're talking about sexual torture. You're going to hear this woman that you see here. And her young child being used as test subject. You're going to hear a whole family, five children, the two parents. There are seven. Different torture. You're going to hear this woman who's a teacher. Mariana is the best testimony for me because a lot of it is similar to what I go through. Almost all of it. There's some few things that I don't exactly get the same, but a lot of it showed me that she opened my eyes to reality. Also, kids as young as seven years old sexually tortured 
four years old, also t- torture. Five year old, it's also torture. Both of those kids have Down syndrome. The seven year old has autism, and there's a three year old sexually tortured. You're going to hear this woman, it's bioethics, saying, oh, this is not only happening to me, but the whole family gets this, this treatment. Doesn't end there. Now, what sexual torture do they apply? So you see this woman, Megan, who made her testimony in February, 20, uh, February 17th, which is why they try to like, change that. They like, try to counter that. On February 17th, she talks about, hey, I just woke up again. From this horrible torture, from this abuse, they are harming my private parts. They're burning my genitals. And I can't believe, you know, she gets, she keeps going. She talks about the government is burning my genital. Sorry, my, the government is burning my private parts. Now, like I said, these people have these tactics of targeting the genitals. The torture is not only painful, but it's degrading. What I mean is people in this, they just, this purpose don't only just harm you to just make you feel pain, but they harm you to degrade you. This woman at the bioethics, Cassandra Lewis, says, hey, this has been happening to me. What's been happening is they've been torturing my genitals in these ways too. Then you hear the same woman who talks about the children being tortured, talk about how the sexual torture happened to her. Then you hear this woman at this uh, uh, council, uh, Richmond and council uh, testimonial uh, thing, talk about, first of all, I've been tortured this way, that way, this way, and my cousin works at the DOD. When I told her what's happened to me, she's like, oh, you're on your own. Don't, don't bring me into that. You're sorry. You're going to have to deal with some stuff. She, she comes up, she says that, and she talks about a lot of us are defenseless women. Then you hear this man called Robert Duncan. Guess what? <laughs> this man says, there's a lot, of, the, one of the breakout, breakdown that is very popular, utilized by this purpose, is this rape type of torture. It is so, it's extremely common, especially women. Women are complaining about it the most. Okay. These people here have been trying to go to what I'm saying. Oh, you, you'll be crying. Like, yes, I'll cry. But I'm sure I'm not the only one crying in this program. You'll be dead. Or oh, you live in the streets. Guess what? Yes. There's a lot of target vigil, inclusive of women living in the street because of you. You're horrible. Oh, no, 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 no. They're horrible. DOD horrible. Yes. You're going to hear this woman literally say, oh, I've been living through my whole life. I've been destroyed. Every day has been a struggle. This atrocity needs to stop. Yep. They live life creating a false reality to counter the fact that they're involved in a program that is really horrible, not only to men, but to women and children. And what they deserve for being involved in this is something that they, I don't think they want to think about it until the day comes. Because we're talking about sexual torture of not only men, not only women, but children. Working for governmental entities with these issues. While trying to present themselves as this fierce femme fatale. Now, that's why the feasting, the torturing, the cutting, the castrating, is they all that try, try to block this reality. Because we know who needs to be castrated. We know the burning, who needs to be burned. We know who needs to be hung. We know who needs to go through this. But Target Individual, please don't do that. Let them get theirs. The cowardness, the low lifeness, the foulness, the false of our reality, the projecting reality. No. The, the, this, the way things come back to them is going to be magical. I'm telling you. In the meantime, stay strong for the horrible things you're going to go through. At least I'm going to be, try to be as strong as possible. But i got to be honest. I'm in a state of mind that I almost can run into fire. Because I think this is just this is dignified. I couldn't live like, like this trash countering the fact that this, this ranking exists. Or these women are being tortured in this way. Or these children. And then 
Hype this kids. Oh, good, good. Yeah, thank you, our team. Thank you, everybody. <sighs> and then die. Mm -mm. That, was, that scares me the most. So to all my target individuals, listen to this. And by the way, <laughs> you know sometimes what they do? I got this call from this person. But the irony of it all is the storyline that they want to block out is that when I was a teenager, in my mid to late teen, right, 16 up, I was with somebody who was much older than me. Now, I will not say that this thing is something that happened to me that was traumatizing, far from that. But it's something that mm, kept coming back in my mind a lot. To try to counter reality, they have this number called. Now, I don't know if it's the same people calling, but really where this would go, that number, let's just say it's the number is 329, or maybe I should say 293, makes me think of me, late teen, with somebody 10 years older than me. Make the math. Because that's reality. And this is what, unquote, quote, if I had to think of some memories that was even, no, not traumatizing, but more of a, um, an impact is that while they're trying to create this false traumatization to somebody who definitely was not traumatized, is not traumatized, and this trash who tell me, pay, I currently, and let me just open the door to say that because the neighbors who work in the program that torture children would say this. Where young children and their families are being tortured to the point of traumatization where they're damaged psychologically and physically. And lastly, the most disturbing part is they, they still have this comical aspect of things. Now, no, they're just bottom feeders. A lot of these perps are like childlike individuals, and they still try to create this, uh, this facade. So as I'm opening the door here, one name, they have been very scared, not even scared, but timid or coy to say, is the name Roy Moore. Now, I don't know why, right? I don't know if there's a reason why they are very timid when they say this name. But the, the most confusing part is they still try to sound fierce when not saying it or saying it in a very coy way. So let me just give you an idea who is Roy Moore at the end. Listen to who is Roy Moore and why would these people, so fierce, so daring, nervous to say this name. The truth is I know why. They're just the bottom feeders. They probably were limited to say this name unless they say it in a way that is hard to hear. But the, the crazy part is they're still trying to sound fierce. I'm like, you're such a clown. Like, that makes you, these people are so, they, they create these characters, right? And for example, say, like, ah, Rama. I was like, what? Who? Did you say Roy Moore? And I can't hear them say that anymore. I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow, you have to be very mystical when you say this name. You're going to hear who is this person. No. I'm thankful that I'm able to have that as a validation to show how fucking clown like these people are. Target visual. A lot of these perps use this moment of empowerment to create a fantasy of reality. They create a character. The truth is, I know most of them are just basically losers. They wanted to play this fierce fan fatal. Some of them act and start talking this way. Sound like ah, oh, or they child like trash, living in the fantasy. Roy Moore is a name that's this to say, and I make sure that I say clearly, Roy Moore. That's Catherine Nestor. My name is Catherine Nestor and I'm from Pennsylvania. This commission has spoken of a long history of abuse of the human research subject. Although no one mentioned MKUltra today, President Clinton recently apologized for this. My young child and I have been used as non-consensual test subjects. We have been subjected to co-intel pro-like stalking, remote neural monitoring, and electromagnetic torture resulting in psychological and physical damage. And I won't go into the details of that because I have four pages written in here that is very similar to Connie's testimony. Please do not wait 70 years to investigate this. I ask Dr. Amy Gutman to begin today. 
There is new work for the Commission for Human Subject Protection on our shores. And please give us a dramatic response, Susan. And please give us a congressional hearing. Thank you. My name is Leslie Crawford. I'm here from the state of Michigan. I wanted to speak about um, biotechnology applications being utilized on my person. I have a medical reports showing eye damage being done to my eyes. My eyes does not have a mirror image. I also have nano wiring inside my eyes. I have pictures of the actual implants from the eye doctor. Once enlarging the nano implants, you will see a copy of the actual particles in my eyes. I have CAT scans, MRIs, and PETs showing wiring, nano wiring in my head. This is my brain. It's straight from the right side to the left side of my head. I also have implants in my chin, in the chin region on both sides. One side shows a wire, the other side shows the actual implant. Implant particle devices coming down through here. Projectiles of the nanoparticles on the side of my head. Enlarged pictures. These crimes is happening in America. This is a domestic problem, not only international. The victims is not being just victimized individually. We are being victimized and our family members as well. Gang stalking, gang stalking tactics and harassment was utilized. decent education. I live in El Dorado Hills, California, with my wife of 14 years, Lorna, and our five children. Nicole is 15, Patricia 14, Christopher 13, Dylan 9, and Avery 16 months old. Not only have I been going through this, but my entire family has suffered right by my side. We have all experienced the same type of harassment on different levels. We have all suffered the same symptoms while this harassment was going on. Some of our physical symptoms include severe tooth decay and vision loss. Unexplained rashes and burns, sever headaches, mood swings, anxiety, thyroid problems, high blood pressure, heart problems, vision loss and cancer. Two of my children were born premature, which I attribute to this. Our son Dylan, now age nine, was born very premature. He was born at 31 weeks. During her pregnancy with Dylan, we were being targeted more so than other times. At the delivery, there were weird men walking and waiting around the hospital. Right outside our delivery room window, there was a white cargo van parked with two suspicious men inside. They were there the entire labor, a delivery. Our son had to be transported to another hospital 45 minutes away when arriving to the Toa hospital those same men and van were present. Three of my children have sever rashes that have not been explained by several doctors. These rashes have been present for several years at a time. If interested, I will gladly furnish you with detailed photos of the rashes. Our infant daughter, at three weeks old, was diagnosed with Lerner's syndrome. <laughs> this was after a severe rash appeared on her body after a few days of torture. We were told by a couple doctors to take her home and love her and spend the rest of the time we have with her. They told us she would ultimately die from this syndrome. Thank God that Lerner's syndrome was not what affected our daughter. 
Doctors are still dumbfounded by her rash and symptoms. Sadly, we know that her symptoms were effects from the torture this poor, innocent, three-week-old baby endured. Recently, I lost complete time. I exhibited the flashing lights. My nine-year-old son, Dylan, complained about the lights. You will often hear that vision. I am currently a speech-language pathologist working in private practice with young children. I had a seven-year-old client who has autism. And she was the most significantly affected of all of my clients. I eventually had to tell this client to go to another clinic. And they used her to threaten the most torture in me as well as their most extreme forms of torture. For several months, she would cry and scream horribly during our therapy sessions despite having a great day at school. This was highly unusual behavior for her as she usually behaved very well during her therapy sessions and had been making incredible progress on all of her therapy goals. This was used to threaten extreme torture on me, making me scream and cry, etc. They would make the kids act out the kinds of torture that would later be done on me. For example, they would also sometimes grab her crotch saying, ow, and this was used to threaten me with severe sexual torture. <laughs> One day I was observed one day I also observed her gasping for air a few times in the same way that I do when I am being more severely suffocated. The suffocation had been in a mild state for a while up until this point. Many of their torture methods are cyclical in severity. Right after I saw this child being suffocated, then I began to experience very extreme suffocation all day every day for about two months straight, and that's also when they made it worse when I eat. And I also work with a four-year-old little girl with Down syndrome, as well as her five-year-old sister who also has Down syndrome. I observed both of these girls suddenly grabbing their genitals in pain and verbalizing, ow. I observed this at least on one or two occasions for each of them during their separate sessions. During one session, I observed one of my three-year-old clients suddenly grab his crotch and lean forward in his chair. And then he made a frightening grimace of severe pain. I asked him what was wrong and if he needed to use the restroom, but he said no to having to use the restroom and was not able to verbalize anything more due to his language delay. He looked puzzled and bewildered. I just woke up after a pretty rough night. Um, the same thing happened last night as the night before, which was um, whenever I was trying to go to sleep, um, the private parts of my body began being burned again and pretty extreme. I can feel it's going to be the same again today. Um, already on the harming of the private parts of my body. I don't really know what to do. I tried to go to a doctor to get some kind of already on the harming use last night was pretty extreme. I can feel it's going to be the same again today. Um, already on the harming of the private parts of my body. I don't really know what to do. I tried to go to a doctor to get some kind of pain medicine because what actually happens to me what is happening to me is my actual physical body is being burned. And so it causes me to go into shock and it's excruciatingly painful. And I have my limitations on the type of the duration and length of pain that I can handle with you. Um, because the government's burning the private parts of my body. The government's burning the private parts of my body. Um, sometimes it feels like a laser. Our investigation for links to the proliferation of graphic material called Project Flickr. Some 5,000 individuals have been identified as having subscriptions to child porn sites, including many DOD aff affiliated persons. So this ongoing national investigation has now prompted the House to introduce a bipartisan bill that would help the DOD stop the use of its network to, quote, possess, procure, or produce child pornography. Joining us to discuss this... Ben Swan. Uh, so Ben, 
the Pentagon already takes measures to limit uh, worker access to stuff like like porn by rolling out uh, what they call the, the personal electronic device PED policy, uh, where workers have to drop off their phones and lockers before entering their offices. Uh, all their online searches are accessible by, by security if or when needed. Uh, their, yeah. their Wi-Fi access is monitored in, in digital security sweeps. So how is this happening? Well, it's happening because even though there is a, a certain amount of limitation on access, um, those who are working in the Department of Defense, clearly it appears to be thousands of individuals in the Department of Defense, are finding ways around this, specifically by using the Department of Defense IP addresses and also apparently peer-to-peer -peer sharing within the department's network. So this, this study uh, that was done on this issue, and it is Pretty horrifying, Manila, to consider this. Uh, it shows that the Department of Defense ranked 19th, 19th yeah. out of almost 3,000 networks in terms of peer-to-peer -peer sharing of child pornography. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, this bill attempts to essentially say, look, uh, we're not doing enough to stop it from coming in, but we're also not doing enough in the Department of Defense to go after those individuals who were being recognized as the ones who were perpetrating this. So... Congresswoman uh, Abigail Spanberger is the co-author to this bill. She said this, uh, quote, the notion that the Department of Defense's network and Pentagon-issued computers may be used to view, create, or circulate such horrifying images is a shameful disgrace and one we must fight head on. Now, yep. the fact that the Pentagon workers, uh, be they civil or, or military or otherwise, already submit to a gauntlet of daily scrutiny just going in and out of work, is it fair then to the tens of thousands who are completely innocent to to further allow that much more government intrusion into their you know their digital devices or, or the things that they're you're, they're dealing with on their computers? Well, remember that that what's being talked about here is not an intrusion into someone's personal device or even their home. This is about saying Department of Defense computers are being misused to share, to spread, to access child pornography. And and when you step into an office, whether it's a Department of Defense office... Pornography watchdog internet crimes against children, child online protective services. The Defense Department network consistently ranks in the top tier of internet service providers for trafficking child pornography. It ranked 19th of nearly 3,000 networks surveyed in 2018. Meadows said the leg. They're following the handbook perfectly. <laughs> Two year old and a six year old. He was simply fired. One employee purchased sexually explicit videos of young girls filmed by their mothers. He resigned. One employee estimated that he had viewed up to 1,400 sexually abusive images of children while on agency assignments. Not sure what actions, if any, were taken by him. One contractor arranged for sex with an undercover FBI agent. I think that you mentioned that. Posing as a child, he had his contract revoked. One CIA staffer was charged with child sexual crimes, and the employee was also under investigation for mishandling classified material. But sexual crimes involving children, says BuzzFeed, including the viewing, the viewing of images of abuse, have been uncovered at other agencies that handle sensitive information. In a November 2009 report, the Department of Defense acknowledged that dozens of Pentagon staff members or contractors had such images. In 2014, the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community found that two officials from the National Reconnaissance Office, which oversees America's spy satellites acknowledge viewing images of child sexual abuse during polygraph examinations. This is so disturbing. At a symposium in 2016, Daniel Payne, a top Pentagon security official, said that when workers' computers were examined, the amount of child porn I see is just unbelievable. Is this something that is happening in the general evil? Ali, we're told, and I, when I was put through recruitment into the intel community, you know, you're put through polygraphs, you're put through a rigorous selection process. Why aren't these people weeded out? Why are so many right. pedophiles 
allowed to be given top level security clearance. Remember, these aren't just people walking in off the street and saying, hey, can I get hired? Can I get a job? You're put through an extremely rigorous background check screening, screening process. It's called an SSBI, single scope background investigation. There are people, they interview you, they interview your family, they interview your contacts, okay, they go through your online footprint, they go through everything. So why is it that when they're going through these footprints, they're not checking, these digital footprints, they're not checking for so many pedophiles getting through their ranks. If it were up to me, you need to go into Congress and Congress needs to launch a brand new church committee, number one, to talk about domestic surveillance operations, but number two, to ask the question, why are there so many pedophiles sitting behind? There are so many right. pedophiles allowed to be given top level security clearance. Remember, these aren't just people walking in off the street and saying, hey, can I get hired? Can I get a job? You're put through an extremely rigorous background check screening, screening process. It's called an SSBI, single scope background investigation. There are people, they interview you, they interview your family, they interview your contacts, okay, they go through your online footprint, they go through everything. So why is it that when they're going through these footprints, they're not checking, these digital footprints, they're not checking for so many pedophiles getting through their ranks. If it were up to me, you need to go into Congress and Congress needs to launch a brand new church committee, number one, to talk about domestic surveillance operations, but number two, to ask the question, why are there so many pedophiles sitting behind? children and sexually assaulting children and they're not being prosecuted where, where are you oh. it's already being used i mean in, if you in, talk to the victims the pi is one of the worst breakdowns and it's it's pretty common uh i think i can say the word simulated rape uh in four stories you can say anything you want this is the internet <laughs> oh uh, okay <laughs> uh, and so simulated uh, orgasms and rape is right. extremely common and right. especially violating for women. They complain about that torture breakdown the most. Uh, you mean as far as the Justice Department feeling me? Well, in terms of your uh, uh, being a victim. You mean what I'm feeling? Yeah. Uh, explain a little bit to me how sure. you... Uh, perceive sure. yourself well, as being... I have actual photographs of burns on my body. When I went to my doctor, uh, the response was, how do I know you didn't do that to yourself? How do you even address that? I've passed two psychological evaluations. Not one, but two. The one physician said, you're mentally sound as a bell. He said, I don't have any idea what's going on with you. When I go to sleep, when I go to try to sleep, I feel like I'm being lit up like a Christmas tree. I feel every cell in my body just bouncing out of my body. I can't even describe it. I get uh, electric shock of my rectum. I get electric shock of my nose. I've woken up with burns on the end of my tongue. I've had burns on the palms of both of my hands. I vibrate. I vibrate. I can barely hold a piece of paper without quivering. Does that answer your question? I'm trying to find what's the source of the... The source of it, she worked on the global mapping of that system. And when I worked for the Defense Department, she worked on the global mapping of that system. And when I told her what I was going through, all she could say was, you're on your own. Well, I, I figured that out. I figured that out. If you would please, I urge you to pass this. I, I realize you can't enforce it. If you would pass it, it might give other communities the courage to do the same thing and show our defense department we are not the enemy. We are not to be attacked. We are not terrorists. Most of us are defenseless women. My name is Kimberly Buckner, and I have been a targeted individual for a very long time. The things I have experienced due to being targeted, they have been unreal. But however, I can personally attest that this is very real indeed. Uh, my life has been destroyed in every possible way, and every day has been a struggle for me. I am very grateful to be before you today, due to Amy Anderson's due diligence, and to everyone else involved. Uh, I thank you, council members, for giving us targeted individuals a chance to speak and to be heard. And I pray that these atrocities will soon be brought to an end. We, but we need your help. Thank you involving many combinations of sensory
mastery and motor manipulation of my mind and body and of the people around me. This includes many different types of zaps to varying degrees to the genitals, butt, anus, and the entire pelvic area. This also includes many kinds of movements, such as the rocking, swaying, jolting, vibrating, and shaking of my entire body or various body parts, specifically in a sexual way. The severe vibration is a highly noxious stimuli and is very intolerable. They sometimes do pulses or throbbing sensations on the genitals too, etc. There are also body movements such as rocking my pelvic area back and forth, repeated rubbing sensations, the sensation of something going up my crotch and in and out, etc. They also often force vaginal discharges and zap my genitals at the same time. These sexual assaults are present throughout the day, every day, and anytime I am awakened at night, every night. They range from mild to extreme, but usually involve daily and nightly continuous assaults for the past three years now. When severe, the zaps to the genitals feel as though someone is electrocuting my genitals repeatedly. Ms. Catherine Nestor. Thanks. Mrs. Marshall. Good afternoon. My name is Connie Marshall. I'm a formal mayoral candidate from Louisville, Kentucky. I have never been involved in any criminal activity. I found a document in my bank account that said problem with Kentucky government. Check federal government paperwork and file before releasing information to anyone. I am an eight-year victim survivor of assaults by directed energy weapons. The torture I've experienced consists of body overheating, body extremely cold, seizures, heart pain, ear aches, itching behind eyes, burning behind eyes, swelling, headaches, involuntary movement of my limbs, exhaustion, speeding and heart racing, hair coming out by the handfuls as if I've had chemotherapy, mind paralysis, being hypnotized or placed in a trance type state, being tracked by a drone or satellite, controlled dreams, sleep deprivation, V2K, which is voice to skull, projected sound, extreme muscle spasms, and extreme muscle cramps, being made to fall down, blue circles around the pupils of my eyes, and I'm here and you can look at them if you like, low frequency noises in my home, high frequency noises in my home, sexual stimulation, numerous electrical appliances in my home are destroyed, four computers, two fax machines, seven telephones, four CD players, VCR, DVD players, electrical igniter switch on my furnace, washer and dryer, air conditioner, also my car radio, CD player, and engine were destroyed. I am watched in my home 24 hours a day and followed, followed around everywhere I go, though I do not have a criminal history. When I ran for mayor of my town, I was also attacked at debates and forums. My website is www.justiceforallcitizens.com. Thank you. Ready for the first... Uh... Ms. Cassandra Lewis? Thank you. Hi, Ms. Lewis. Okay, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Cassandra Lewis, and I'm a targeted individual from Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> Um, my story um, may sound disjointed. I'm trying to keep it within the minute and a half. I worked as a legal secretary at Hogan and Hartson in Washington, D.C. It is now called Hogan Lovells. Attorney Jan McDavid made a client mistake that she tried to blame on me. I then refused to work for Ms. McDavid. Shortly thereafter, strange and inexplicable events occurred on my job. And after being fired, followed me to my home and to all my travels. Attorney Christopher J. Hagan, formerly of Hogan and Hartson. Mr. Samuel Conrad, he's a retired security administrator of Hogan and Hartson. And Robert Johnston, who is the current firm administration administrator of Hogan and Lovells, are responsible for my targeting. I believe to protect Ms. McDavid's reputation, a phone call was made to whom and, and why they did this to me. I, 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 truly just speculate. Gang stalking and harassment was used to implement this non-consensual biotechnology application that is being used on me. I now experience involuntary limb movements. I receive stingings. I get pains to my head, to my abdomen, to my vaginal area, and to my anal area. I am receiving 
from a language that I read concerning this technique. I'm very sorry to address you like this because I think that what you're doing is very admirable. But I'm here to represent this other group, and I am also targeted, and this is my story. My name is Sandra Field. I'm an architect, recipient of Who's Who of, America, of Women in America Achievement Award, and have run a successful business for over 28 years. My life and livelihood have been compromised for the last 11 years by being attacked by electromagnetic radiation torture and by organized stalking. I cannot live in my rent-stabilized apartment in New York City as a result of this torture. I'm Mr. Brian Rung? Miss Anya Briggs? My name is Anya Briggs, and I am a private citizen and resident of New York City. I have been and continue to be experimented on against my will and without my permission as a human test subject and as a targeted individual forced into trauma-based mind control programs. Because of this ongoing experimentation, torture, and abuse since 2008 and before, I have endured the following physical and psychological symptoms. Extreme, debilitating, and chronic fatigue, weakness, and dizziness for days and weeks at a time. Lack of motor control as well as the sensation of being physically controlled by an unseen force. My left arm occasionally experiences pain and discomfort from an object of unknown origin moving under my skin and being activated somehow. I have an unusual dental filling of unknown origin on the side of one of my back upper right teeth and no memory of having this procedure done. And I have x-ray printouts and a signed affidavit from my dentist stating this. Mm. Said dental filling causes me sharp pain, discomfort, and sensitivity. I have experienced extreme itching, burning, and pain in my right leg that turned into an intense bright pink and then disappeared completely after several minutes, and I have photographs of this happening in real time. I have had a stretched uterus, and yet I have never consciously and to my knowledge been in it. I have had equidistant sores that have appeared on both of my subscapularis muscles at the same time. I have been drugged. I've been abducted from my home. I've had guns pointed at my head. I've had death threats. And much, much worse, believe it or not, by being in these programs and experiments. Hey. Um. I just woke up after a pretty rough night. Um, the same thing happened last night as the night before, which was um, whenever I was trying to go to sleep. Um, the private parts of my body began being burned again and it felt like someone pushing out something inside of my body. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what, what I am up against today is... February 16th, look, 17th, Friday, February 17th, um, and the past two or three days, my neck and my back have been hurting so bad, it feels like, um, it feels like someone's radiating on my body, on the back of my neck, trying to put my neck out for some reason, um, and just intense, extremely intense headaches. I went and drank some beer yesterday because the pain was so intense and because I couldn't find a doctor the day before that would accept my insurance. Um, by the grace of God, I'm staying in a hotel, and so that's good. Um, but, yeah, yeah. And your mouth feels just like my teeth are like pressed forward and I don't know it's um, a lot of strange things I've been doing some research I guess what it's called um, organized stalking I'm called a targeted individual um, but the abuse last night was pretty extreme I can feel it's going to be the same again today um already on the harming of the private parts of my body.
body. I don't really know what to do. I tried to go to a doctor to get some kind of pain medicine because what actually happens to me, what is happening to me is my actual physical body is being burned. And so it causes me to go into shock and it's excruciatingly painful. And I have my limitations on the type of the duration and length of pain that I can handle. Um, this was a a couple of weeks ago, I tried to go to the hospital and they, you know, I talked about um, <clears throat> military proprietary systems that are used, like, I guess, essentially drone technology, um, which is <clears throat> just manipulating and changing something without touching it or being present. Um, and suddenly there was a man standing outside of my hospital room. Um, I asked him what he was doing there and he said that I needed to stay in my room <laughs> um, and I asked why and he said that um, essentially they wanted to keep an eye on me for a while <laughs> and I was like okay for how long and he was like well we haven't decided that yet and I was like alright well I'm leaving um, but it definitely felt like if I talk about what's happening to me that I'm being retaliated against. Um, and I know the logical mind is like, well, everyone can't be involved. <laughs> but it seems that, I don't know if the government has the right to watch and the proper paperwork, just walk right in and take over a hospital. And um, it seems that that is very a very real reality um, in a lot of capacities of the things that I faced. Um, so I just kind of just feeling some pretty general fear <clears throat> about my own safety um, because the government's burning the private parts of my body. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like a laser shot in the face. And it was an older guy. He was like really, really disgruntled and pissed off. Yeah, she shot me shot in the face. You know, sound like an angry ass old person. You know, then a couple of days later, a female said the same thing. Oh, get shot in the face. You know, stupid shit like that. But what I really noticed is with the voices go, it's a bunch of females. You know, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> really? You're not a woman. What? real woman would stalk another female or sit back and allow that to go on you you really think they they think it's nothing wrong with them oh a food court more to the mall to get into the holiday spirit. One woman recalls that she was 14 and working as Santa's helper at the Gadsden Mall in 1977 when Moore first spoke to her and told her she would look pretty. Two years later, when she was 16, he asked her out on dates. He hit on one of Santa's elves? Well, a true evangelical, he's putting the Christ back in Christmas. Wow. And... It wasn't just the mall, folks. One Alabama journalist claims that Moore was also banned from the YMCA for his inappropriate behavior of soliciting sex from young girls. And don't forget, he did that while he was assistant DA. <laughs> So this is what these people are trying to counter. 
this is why uh, I say thank you God that this life that I have even if it's going to be painful torturous and horrible in that sense it's not a life where I need to counter anything of that nature talking about atrocities torture torments not only of just adult men and women but children and I'm glad that I got the chance to say this before um, I couldn't say that so this is me saying thank you God and <laughs> they live life counter reality you know everything they could do to try to make me see them in this fashion which consists of them not being involved in a program that does what I just said here in 2020 and I am a victim of organized stalking electronic harassment microwave torture B2K abuse and I'm asking you to help us and this crime against humanity, which has impacted men, women, children all around the world. Hi, I'm Wan from Malaysia. My family are targeted individual. We are victims of cyber torture. And I will not give up. I will fight to the end. And I'm a victim of organized uh, We need this to stop. Electronic harassment, sir. And I'm speaking to you on International Targeted Individual Day. I live in the U.S., in Illinois, and I'm a victim of organized uh, We need this to stop. Electronic That's harassment, it. microwave torture. I've been a targeted for nine years. 24-7. Please become more aware of this crime and those that the crime is being committed against. We need your support and help in ending this crime. Hello, my name is Wendy Brown. I'm a targeted individual who is living in New Zealand, but my targeting began in California. I'm an American citizen, and the targeting continues in New Zealand. I'm making this video in um, remembrance of Targeted Individual Day, our third annual Targeted Individual Day. And I'm asking that every Honest hearted human being open their eyes to a crime. My name is Jeanette. I am 56 years old and I live in Baltimore, Maryland. I am a victim of covert electronic harassment and torture. I am a targeted individual. Wishes to hand down. Why? Because it hurts. I need help. I need you guys to come get me. Is brutally painful. I have a house, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, first floor, second floor, two garage, backyard, land, everything. Can't live in my house. My neighbors are shooting direct energy weapons through my house. I hold my heart like this. You know why? Because it hurts. I need help. I need you guys to come get me. Come get me. Oh, Lord, because I think I'm dying. I'm making this video in an attempt to expose this horrific nightmare. Hello, I'm making this video to honor the third annual Targeted Individual Day. That's August 29th, 2020. My name is Linda Marie Sharp in Mendocino County, California, United States. I am a targeted person and have been for over 12 years. I am electronically tortured by directed energy weapons so listen i'm never gonna stand around here pretend i'm perfect that uh, you know i have my imperfections i have no things to say, i know what i've done but i will always put things in perspective as much as they try to vilify me try to use whatever they can to try to counter what you just heard this this the things they do is deserving of things or so even the, the the involvement of what they're part of it's deserving things that is funny they project onto me, but I rather go through every horrible things they say, they're going to make me go through than having the choice to do whatever I want to. But because this opportunists understand that being involved in this gives them this empowerment of doing whatever they can. Listen, you heard what what these people are involved in. You hear the torture and how horrible it is. It's pure cruelty because not only just happening to that to, to men, but also a lot of women and children. And then you know you're working for those governmental entities. So whatever they try to gather 
the fake manipulation things they make me experience or even whatever else to try to vilify me toward those actual things that I've done. I can never let them believe this this escapism. A lot of what they, they make me try to think about is what they made me experience and what they what I've done for example you heard like that the, that techno music that tried to make me feel but guilty i was like oh but i remember when you're at that club you grabbed this button trash you heard what they do to women you heard this 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 atrocities yeah now i'm not perfect yes i've done stupid things especially my younger adulthood oh my you know i'm just my late teen early adulthood from 18 to 22 when i was but please understand that what you guys have on your hand at this point, what you've, what you've connected yourself to, yes, what you've associated yourself to is something that is so cruel that, man, there should be generation of reimbursement. And I didn't even go through the mass shootings. I think that's enough to make it clear of what the reality they're part of. To all my target individuals, stay strong. Don't let them counter-react and project reality onto you. They are the false low-life trash. Even though they call you trash, even they call you monkey or dog, whatever it is, listen to what they're part of. Tell my target individual, stay strong.